Hello all and welcome to our new episode of our 3D daily show from Formnex in Germany where we are meeting with the most innovative companies in the field of additive manufacturing. This video is brought to you by 3D Natives and powered by Velo 3D. So, in this new episode we are going to talk about size because size does matter when it comes to 3D printing. So not only we are going to talk about large scale AM, but also we are going to have a look at micro 3D printing and its benefits for the industry. So come on now. So guys, first we are meeting with Massive It 3D, a company based in Israel and founded in 2013 that prints uh, very large scale parts and they are using a technology called GDP for gel dispensing printing. I'm here with Avi Cohen, VP Sales and Marketing at the company. How are you, Avi? I'm fine, thank you so much for being with us. So how is it going at Formnex, Avi? Formnex is amazing for us. We are uh, uh, introducing a new product, the Massivi 10,000G, which is really a revolution in the 3D printing industry. And we have an amazing, amazing uh, show and a lot of attendance in our booth. It's fully packed. And what is Massivit 3D all about? Well, Massivit is about three things I would say, uh, if I need to summarize it in three sentences. We print big, we print uh, fast, and we print material nobody else has. So that's about it in three sentences. That's very clear. Um, what are the new products you are launching here today at Farmnext? Okay, the big launch, actually there are three announcements, but the most important one is uh, the machine next to us, the 10,000G. This machine is not only printing parts, but also printing and casting in motion. So if you see the part that I'm holding here, we are printing and casting at the same time. There is no technology in the 3D printing that can print and cast a part at the same time. So what type of materials are we talking about here? Uh, the casting material here is uh, epoxy based, but the technology is open and allow allows you to go far and beyond and have a different type of a future material that all can be casted. And so it seems it is made to make, to produce very large parts. What kind of application, what kind of sectors are you aiming for? Right. So this new material that have a very, very uh, different and high properties are excellent also for molding. The market and industries that we are targeting would be uh, naturally automotive, marine, uh, rail and transportation, consumer goods and others. So many of the large parts, uh, companies need large parts, uh, we are there. Good. What type of immediate application can we think of? Well, the immediate application would be, of course, mold, mandrails, uh, jigs and fixtures, and different large parts that needed these uh, special properties of the material we are printing. Can you give us maybe a bit more details on how it works? With pleasure. So in few words, uh, we are printing the outer shell of a part and not the part itself and casting in real time. We call the technology cast in motion. We print the outer shell and cast, print and cast. And at the end of the day, you get the full part, dip it in the water, the outer shell goes and you end up with the final part in your hands. Well, congrats, because it is a very unique application, uni very unique technology that we can see here at Fornex. Thank you very much for your time. Guys, make sure you pass by, by their booth if you are at Fornex. If not, come and visit them on their website. Again, thank you very much and see you very soon, Avi. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Whether it is in plastic, metal, sand or even concrete, large-scale 3D printing is becoming more and more popular in the industry. Micro 3D printing is also seeing more and more application in the field of research and medical. Just at Formnex, more than 50 exhibitors are dedicated to either large-scale or micro-scale additive manufacturing. Now, let's go and see our next guest. So guys, we are moving from polymer to metal large-scale additive manufacturing. I'm here with Heis van der Velden from MX 3D. I'm not sure I need to introduce MX 3D. They have become a renowned through the metal bridge they printed a few years ago in Amsterdam. Hi, Heis. How is it going? Very good. It's a very busy show, so I'm glad to see yeah, you. Do you like it so far? Yeah, it's, it's nice to uh, share uh, your story to all the people that uh, know additive manufacturing, so it's cool. So where did the idea of MX 3D come from? 
Yeah, so uh, we uh, experimented a lot with different uh, varieties of additive, uh, so SLM uh, for example, and we saw there uh, was one thing missing and that was scale. So we tried out various materials with a robot and uh, in the end uh, the metal uh, 3D printing sticked. So uh, in 2013 uh, we started uh, printing small parts and uh, this grew into the bridge project as you all know. And currently uh, we're supplying a software plus control system that allows other people to print uh, big parts 24-7 uh, in their own facility. Well, actually, can you tell us more about the Metal Excel uh, software and basically how does it work? Yeah, so we really believe in uh, keeping it simple. Uh, so we have standard off-the-shelf equipment, standard off-the-shelf wire. And what we do, our magic is basically a COM program that slices your part, sends it automatically to the robot and communicates with our control system so that you don't have to intervene as, a, as an operator and that you can print 24-7 uh, as long as it needed to finish the part. Well, that's very impressive. Um, the bridge was the starting point a uh, few years ago. Uh, what are for you now the challenges, the new project you are working on? Yeah, so at the moment uh, we uh, focus fully on uh, making uh, certified uh, uh, projects for, for end customers. Uh, so really understanding uh, what they need to be able to implement the parts in their production line. And uh, yeah, that means uh, lots of communication with uh, people like Bureau Veritas, DNV, Lloyd's Register and uh, of course the end customer uh, to uh, see uh, how we can service them best. And where do you see MX Ready in let's say five years? Yeah, so I see, see us uh, setting up uh, production lines of 10 to 20 robots for people that have discovered uh, the parts that they want to print. And uh, we will service them, make sure they have uh, all the files that they need to print these parts uh, all the time, 24-7, uh, without interruption. And guys, final question, if you had one word to describe MX3D. Really. Well, with us, Metal 3D printing has no limit. Well, thank you very much, guys. To conclude this last episode of our 3D Daily Show, we are meeting with a startup as always. Uh, I'm here with Photosynthetic, uh, a startup that is focused on micro-scale uh, 3D printing. By micro-scale, uh, uh, we are talking about few microns actually. So I'm here with the founder, Dr. Alex Kostenkos. Nice to meet you. Thank you. So how does it feel to be at Farm Next? It's very exciting. It's like after a long time, you get an opportunity to show what you did. It's very cool. Well, first of all, uh, congrats, because you've won this. What is this? Uh, it's a prize for a startup competition. Uh, actually, Magdalena, was uh, my colleague, was presenting and she won the prize, which we're very proud of. Uh, you, you, you should be super proud. Well, can you tell us a bit more about Photosynthetic? What do you do? We're a deep tech startup. We're developing a new type of 3D printing, new method, which is not like anything you see on this uh, exhibition here. Uh, and it's focused on microfabrication, so it's really making things that are few microns in size, uh, feature sizes of microns, um, and it's very fast. So what we want to do is to create an instrument that is good for both prototyping, very advanced new structures at the micro scale, also good for serial production. So once you created something very cool uh, at the micro scale, never seen before, you can actually replicate it many times. And what is this technology about? How does it work? Well, you can imagine you need to take a microscope, combine it with a DLP 3D printer, and put a computer algorithm around it that drives the process. So the DLP projector generates patterns. They are projected through the microscope. They become very small, uh, reaching a very high resolution. And then they're projected in a volume, uh, creating a 3D shape. Uh, it's not done as DLP printers do it. A little bit different, it's all based on this uh, computational uh, algorithm that tells how to do it. Uh, and as a result, you can do it very fast and uh, you can create things that are very small. And what kind of application are we talking about? Um, we are talking about a lot of uh, sort of cutting edge R&D applications that did not, some of them did not become products yet. Uh, they are uh, lab on cheap, microfluidics. Uh, micro optics, um, scaffolds for, for tissue uh, engineering, um, micro needles for drug delivery, uh, all kinds of things that are really just being created now in the lab and will become products within a few years from now. What do you expect from Fornex and where do you see photosynthetic in a few years? 
From Fornax, we expect to, we hope to find uh, future users, use cases, understand uh, their requirements, understand how we can help them, uh, understand the markets. Um, and in future, what we want to become, well, uh, two years from now, uh, we want to have our machine in every large university in the Netherlands and then going out uh, to European uh, research centers and then a few years later uh, being used by the industry. Well, thank you very much. This was a, a great pleasure to meet you. Congratulations again for the prize. Uh, that's a very good achievement to start with. Um, well, and I hope to see you very soon, maybe next year at Fornex, actually, yep. I hope. Um, thank you very much for your time again. Good luck for the rest of the team and see you very soon. Bye bye. Well, this was the last episode of our 3D Daily Show, a video brought to you by 3D Natives and powered by Velo3D. I hope you enjoyed every moment of it. Thanks to all the companies, the startups that we had great discussion with. Thanks to Formnext for the amazing organization, again, that happened this year in Frankfurt, Germany. Thanks to Core Technology for giving me this bike. Well, and I hope to see you very soon, guys. Bye-bye.